YouTube. It's me again. I um, made a video using my cordless reciprocator, and the video was basically me cutting two cuts on this piece of wood. The review of it. But anyway, back to my what the real videos. What I cut the board for is I made a uh, table for my Diacro 24-inch finger brake. I said it like I love the machine, and yeah, I do. The next dilemma I have is what to screw this down with. Because I got metal and plywood. Do I lag bolt it? Which is probably be a good idea. Put some bolts in it. Do I use self-tapping screws that might stick out? Um, what else? Do I put wheels on it at first? I, I might actually do that and go out and buy some wheels. But I might have to weld a bigger plate on it. I might weld flat bar on the bottom. Probably care. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking four bolts, a little countersink in there, maybe six, two in the middle here. So there's the buckle. And that might be good enough. And then 300 pounds of fun. I'm not sure if I want to put it on wheels though. Because I mean, I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's going to fall over. Even though that thing is dead weight. I mean, like it's, it's a skinny bench. It's long. And... There's a six-year-old who can be playing with it. So, I mean, if I bring it up three more inches, the center of gravity is a little higher. I might want to just leave it somewhere and then put it on the bench or just drag it over there. I, I do think I need to make some type of way to wheel it over somewhere. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. It's in the way. Uh, I have a little bit of space in here not much until i add a 10 feet on take the cars out of here then i'll have a full giant space workshop until then there won't be many months for that especially with the price of wood maybe the price of concrete would be good i'm just going to add on whatever but in the meantime i'm thinking six lag bolts i got a bunch of lag bolts that i scavenged off a carport they're small enough drill a little drill a hole straight through countersink it bolt them on there should be good and I have tons of nuts and screws and other stuff. The bottom part, my plan on the bottom part is probably to make a wooden shelf put in there. Because I could fabricate a metal shelf, but I'm just going to want to change it and stuff. So for now, I might make a wooden insert and maybe screw it to the side. Put a couple of shelves. I might put a, I don't know, maybe a little shelf to put the, the fingers on. We take them off. And that's pretty much it. And maybe, I don't know, maybe a section for tin snips or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put my other fi flat finger brake in there and maybe make a, what do you call it? Not finger brake. My other flat sheet metal brake, maybe I could put it under here and, or make a jig go on top or something. Because I, I was going to get rid of my other little small, like, three-footer, but I thought about it. I'm like, this is 24 inches. I wanna, if I want to bend something a little bit larger, which I don't always bend stuff, I've used that one a few times. So I'll probably keep it. I was thinking of selling it, but nah, I'll keep it. I'll leave it there or put it under this bench. So I'll give it a nice little home here. The other option is, is I can also put a, what do you call it? Metal chopper under here. I can also maybe put a bolt my roper with me, punch on here, something else. Maybe I should put anvils on the bottom, keep it up. <coughs> Center option, put all the anvils on the bottom. I ain't going to go anywhere. Anyway, like, subscribe. I'll put all the video getting pieces and you can see, I'll try to put a lot. I'll try to put larger chunks. I can't put a lar large chunk videos. It takes too long to upload. That's why I have so many videos. It's just, they're, they're too damn long to upload. So, enjoy. Thank you.